Okay, today we're going to take a look at how to get Radiologic DJ information, what you're playing, the playing now, out of Radiologic DJ and put that into OBS so that you can actually broadcast it. Something I've been wanting to do for a long time. So open your preferences of Radiologic DJ. And what we're looking for is this one here under Publishing, one that's Files. Okay, so by default, Radiologic DJ will publish whatever is in here. Okay, so I've set that up with my name, the title of the show, and of course, Radiologic. So you can see where that's going to broadcast into your own screen, but also into wherever you're going to send it to in the folder. So you click on Show the Folder, and you'll find out exactly where you need to put the file that we're going to create with the name of the artist and the song title and the album as well. So first thing you need to do is open up your text editor. Create a new document. Now it's important that we use the right format that Radiologic DJ and OBS are going to be able to talk with each other. So if you go to preferences of that, go and select plain text. So it'll save it as a .txt file. And then what we can do is open up from Radiologic uh, the, the help file. Okay. And I didn't realize I've actually got this open already, which is why it didn't work. So you just click on that little question mark and up will pop this little radio box here. And out of there, you can select what you actually want to present in this file, which will then jump through to OBS. So I'm going to select the artist. I'm going to copy and paste that into there, put a little dash, and then the title of the song. And also the album that it's come from. Now we need to save that file and make sure we save it in the right place and save it as the right format. Okay, so remember we're saving it into the Radiologic DJ folder. The first one that we need to save it to actually is the templates folder. So you need to locate that. So Radiologic, scroll down to web, templates, brilliant. And now you can just retitle that file as you needed. And I'm just going to call this one now playing. and make sure it saves as at UTF-8 and then save it. So you don't need that anymore. So we can close that and we're going to copy that file and because this is where Radiologic DJ copies it from and reads it from so it's in that templates folder so we can either copy from that menu or just control C, it's command C sorry, been on a PC for too long and then just drop it straight into that web folder there Cool, and then make sure we have our files checked, we know where it's saving to, and then click OK to save our settings for our publishing. So there we go, so now it's already updated, you can see that same as what's on Radiologic DJ is the same as what's in that file. So if I go now to OBS, how you doing? And let's start a new scene or a new source I should say. So we want a text source. And you can call that whatever you like. So this is your song title. Brilliant. So from here we can select a few different things, but first of all let's select the file. So we need to read the text from a file. Scroll down a little bit further, see what it's looking for, what we saved it as. Perfect. So hit the browse button. Go find your Radiologic DJ folder, go down to the web folder, and there it is there, now playing text. Brilliant. Click open, and it's already reading from that file. Now you can also change the color if you want to. There's multiple colors or a fading of two colors, whatever you like. Let's try yellow and yellow and white, eh? Drag it into position. Resize it till your heart's content. There we go. There you go, so the faded scene. You can see the little Radiologic DJ symbol there. Perfect. So what we need to do now is if we can test this out by just going back to Radiologic DJ. There it is. And what I'll do is I'll just drop something in there. Start a song playing. And there it is. 
updating within a second. So it's showing you now what is playing on the current player inside Radio Logic DJ is now being broadcast right across OBS. So there is another advanced feature that I actually want to show you, and that's uh, with Radio Logic DJ itself and what you want to broadcast. So if you go Command and E, uh, you'll actually be able to see what you're going to exclude or include in what you're publishing. So in my case, I'm choosing choosing out of the exclude file um, IDs, promos, liners, stages, and sweepers. I don't want those broadcast. So that's just for me to know. And if you go to your library. And you'll see down there all the genres that I've used, ID, liners, promos, sweepers, and all that kind of thing. So they won't get broadcast on anything that I'm broadcasting from. So that's my exclusion list, my publishing exceptions. So I can drop a promo in there now, and I can play that. And it will just carry on as it is and just stay with the default, which is Optimod, The Mix, and Radio Logic. So if I hit the play button on that one, it's good to go. So it'll play it through, but it won't actually broadcast that. It'll just stay with the station ID that I've got there on the screen. And then if I set it going with a the song, there you go, within a second, up plays the song, and the title's there ready to go. So nice and easy, folks. Hope that helps. Just take your broadcast just a little bit further. Something that I've been wanting to do for a long time and not worked out how to do, and finally done it. So thanks for watching. Cheers.